Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Richard Moglin, and welcome to this week's watchlist video sponsored by Marketsmith. As always, we'll go through both the fundamentals and technicals of all the stocks on my focus list, and I'll start with AEIS or Advanced Energy Industries. Uh, so overall, great earnings the past few quarters. Last quarter earnings up 207%, sales up 122%, after tax margins up as well, up 16.4%. Uh, EPS rating is decent. The other IBD ratings are decent, especially the composite rating at 98 um, overall, the fund ownership hasn't changed much over the past few years, but you do have one high quality fund invested into this stock. Uh, so overall, looking at the chart, you can see it's moved up quite fast from this um, gap up here. And overall, the RS rating is okay at 84. It's not substantial, but it's forming out a nice flag near 100. Uh, so as for the entry set, let's go to TC2000. And overall, this is a kind of green line breakout retest. Um, almost to the cent. I mean, look at this day right here. The low was 94.70. And if we go to uh, that previous high, that was at 95. So it just undercut it slightly then recovered nicely. I don't like these down days, um, these downside reversals here, and also this one on high volume. Uh, but overall, it is holding that level. And I'm looking for a break above this um, high at 98.66 on above average volume. Next up, we've got ALTM, and this is a potential power play setup. And overall, last quarter earnings up 125%, sales up 18%, and after tax margins up 73%. If we look at the estimates for 2021, they're up 350%, with the revisions up as well. Um, IBE ratings are okay. The overall comms rating is a 92. Um, and looking at the fund ownership, you can see it's pretty much flat um, and actually is decreasing since December 2019. Uh, so overall, this is definitely more of a technical play. Um, and overall, uh, look at this power on this bar up 204% and then it never undercuts it and just keeps going all the way up to 50. And now it forms this pretty tight area here, uh, decreasing only about 16% within this short term shelf here. So what I'm looking for is a breakout of this downward trend line on above average volume. Uh, next up, we've got um, AMD and taking a look at the fundamentals, you can see great earnings the past few quarters. Last quarter earnings of 128%, sales up 56%, and after tax margins up 17.9%. The EPS estimates are 48% for 2021. The IBD ratings are very strong with an overall composite rating of 98. And if you look at the fund ownership, you can see a nice increasing trend over the past two years. Uh, you have two high quality funds in there. If we look at the chart, you can see it emerge from this double bottom uh, stage four base. And now has pretty much been going uh, sideways. You have a bit of a move up towards 100, but it's pulled back to the standard pivot at about 90. Overall, the RS line has been basing all of the price and the overall rating is an 83. Uh, so as for the entry setup, what I'm looking for is a breakout above this high at 92.85. And I do have a position, I started on this day right here. So I'm looking for a add against this swing low right here. Uh, next up, we've got Chegg. And overall, if you look at the earnings, you can see not much happened this past quarter, but there is signs in previous quarters that it can grow substantially. And if we look at the estimates for 2021, it's up 31% with the revisions up as well. Uh, the EPS rating is a 90, the group RS is only a D, the SMR rating is an A, accumulation distribution is a B plus, and the overall comms rating is a 98. And look at the fund ownership, you can see a nice increasing trend and you have a whole bunch of high quality funds. You've got five in there owning this stock. And if we look at the chart, you can see it's basically a base on base, a stage 2B cup, and is right at the pivot right here at about 90. So as for the entry setup, I wanna see a move up through here on above average volume, and that's where you could start the position, and then you could add to it through this high at 95.20. Uh, next up, we've got Fate, which is another potential power play setup, and overall you can see sales were up 211% this past quarter. Um, it's not supposed to be profitable in 2020 or in 2021, and it has pretty poor IBD ratings except for Group RS, and accumulation distribution. Look at the fund ownership, you can see a nice increasing trend and you have one high quality fund owning shares in this company. Uh, looking at the chart, you can see the power here, huge volume coming in and overall the RS rating is a strong 98 and it's been basing, uh, the RS line has been basing all along with the price after it's kind of pulled back from this 100 level. Uh, so as for the entry setup, what I'm looking for is a breakout above uh, this high at 94.32 on above average volume or an undercut and reclaim of this level at about um, 88.63, which lines up pretty closely to the 21 EMA and also the lows right here. 
Uh, so that is fate. And next up, we've got GRWG. And overall, great growth the past few quarters. Last quarter earnings up 100%, sales up 153%, and after tax margins up 6.1%. And if we look at the estimates for 2021, they're supposed to be up a further 144% with the revisions up as well. EPS rating is an 80, Group RS is an A-, SMR rating is a B, Accumulation Distribution is an A, and the overall comms rating is a 99. And look at the fund ownership. You can see an explosion over the past two years, and you have one high-quality fund in there as well. As for the chart, you can see it's already 89% from the pivot in just 39 days, so this definitely has a lot of power behind it. It pulled back to the 21 EMA right here. I'm looking for a breakout um, above the short-term consolidation shelf. Uh, so as for the specific entry setup, what I'm looking for is a breakout above this high at 42.38 on above average volume. And for this stock, the ideal entry would have been on this reversal bar as it touched the 21 EMA. Uh, so moving on, we've got Onem, which we haven't talked about in quite a while because it's been basing for uh, a few months now. And overall, you can see great sales growth, especially this past quarter, up 46%, uh, but it's not yet profitable and it isn't supposed to be in 2020 or in 2021. Uh, the EPS rating is very poor at 8. The Group RS is a D minus. SMR rating is not available. Accumulation distribution is a B minus. And the overall comms rating is very bad at 34. And looking at the fund ownership, you can see an increasing trend. And you have two high quality funds owning shares as well. And looking at the chart, you can see it's forming a stage one cup with handle with a standard pivot of 44.33 with a depth of 43%. And as for the entry setup, I'm looking for a break above that handle at 44.33 on above average volume. And this would also be a green line breakout. And that level is 44.87. Um, and it could completely form out a longer handle here. And that would be constructive, maybe a pullback to the 21 EMA. Uh, but I will be watching this very, very closely to see if it can break through uh, both this high as well as this previous all time high. Uh, so next up, we've got Penn and overall. Looking at the earnings and sales, you can see a nice explosion this past quarter in terms of earnings up 145%. Sales were down 17%, but after tax margins were up 12.5%. And looking at the estimates, you can see it's supposed to be profitable in 2021, although revisions are down. The EPS rating is a 38, the Group RS is an A+, the SMR rating is an E, accumulation distribution A-, and the overall comms rating is an 81. Uh, looking at the fund ownership, you can see a gradual increase over the past two years, and you have five high quality funds investing into this stock. And looking at the chart, you can see it just moved out from a stage two consolidation as now pulling back on lower volume to the 21 EMA area. So as for the entry setup, what I'm looking for is a reversal uh, through this level right here, this high at 88.42 on above average volume and using this swing low potentially as my kind of stop loss point. Uh, so next up, we've got Pinterest. And overall last quarter earnings were up 999%, sales up 58%, and after tax margins were up 19.7%. And looking at the 2021 estimates for EPS, you can see they're up 125% with the revisions up as well. EPS rating is a 42, Group RS is an A minus, SMR rating is a C, accumulation distribution is a B minus, and the overall comps rating is an 89. And as for the fund ownership, you can see a nice increase over the past two years, and you have a whole bunch of high quality funds investing into this stock. And if you look at the chart, you can see that this move really started on this day right here, this huge gap up on um, enormous volume, and that led to about a 100% plus increase. And right here is when I featured it um, as one of my stocks of the week, which will be linked above right now. Uh, but overall, looking at the chart, it's pulling back to the 50 SMA, 10-week area, and that's where I'm looking to enter this stock potentially if it shows a nice reversal above this high right here on above average volume or undercuts and reclaims the 50 SMA. Next up, we've got Redfin and overall you can see earnings last quarter were up 357%. And if you look at the estimates for 2020 and 2021, it's not supposed to be profitable just yet. The EBS rating is a 71, the group RS is a B plus, SMR rating is a D, accumulation distribution is an A, and the overall comms rating is a 90. And look at the fund ownership, you can see a gradual increase over the past two years. And you have two high quality funds investing into this stock as well. And overall, it's moved up quite well from this stage two base right here. It's now pulling back to the 21 EMA area on uh, lowish volume. You can see there is a spike here, but overall, it's on much less volume than this breakout from this cup shape. And overall, the RS rating is a 96 and the RS line was moving up quite sharply and now is pulled back with price. 
So as for the entry setup, what I'm looking for is a break above this downward trend line on above average volume or a potential reversal bar here or an undercut and reclaim of the 21 EMA on above average volume. Uh, so next up, we've got UPST, a recent IPO and overall last quarter earnings were up 999%, sales up 32% and after tax margins up 14.8%. Uh, there's not much info in terms of IBD ratings, but the overall composite rating is a 62 and you can see there's no fun information just yet. Um, overall, the RS rating is an A3, which is decent for an IPO. And you can see it moved up quite fast from its IPO price down here. So as for the entry setup, what I'm looking for is a breakout of the IPO base with a standard pivot of 51.4. Uh, but this completely could be within its right to uh, base out a few more days or even a few more weeks, and then finally move up above this line. Uh, but so far it's acting well, and I'll be watching this one closely. Uh, last on the list, we've got Zillow, which I still currently own. I'll be looking to add back shares here, uh, but overall last quarter earnings up 408%, after tax margins up 13.5%, and looking at the estimates for 2021, they're up 58% with the revisions up as well. Uh, the EPS rating is only a 45, the group RS rating is an A-, minus. SMR rating is a C, accumulation distribution is an A-, minus. and the overall comps rating is an 83. And look at the fund ownership, you can see a nice increase over the past two years, and two high quality funds investing in into this stock. And overall, this is a kind of a messy consolidation here, but it did tighten up on this right hand side. And right here is when I got in over this high right here. And you could also have used this high as a pivot as well. And I really like how it worked right away on above average volume. And now it's pulling back on very low volume to that 21 EMA area. So as for the entry setup, what I'm looking for is a breakout above this high right here at 132.96 on above average volume or an undercut and reclaim of the 21 EMA. Uh, so that is my plan for Zillow. And overall, my top three subs for this week are Chegg, Pins, and also an ad on Zillow. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please go ahead and leave a like down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys in future videos.